After seeing how to handle arbitrary start configurations in the last video, let's look at how to record split times and finish the timing of multiple athletes. First of all, the principles of recording times seen in the previous session still apply. When any athlete reaches a split mark, we indicate this by tapping the single button, which generates a time record. The watch predicts the athlete this time record belongs to, and if this prediction is incorrect, we manually correct the assignment by tapping an athlete's record, holding until the record comes up, and then moving the athlete to another time record. Usually, these steps are sufficient to time any groups of athletes going through a common routine where all athletes start before anyone reaches the first split mark, and we record the same, and in particular, the same number of split times for all athletes. There are just a few situations that require special handling. When we record a time event by accident, we can just delete the time record created for it by tapping in the middle of the record and selecting Delete. Notice that you cannot delete the one and only start time record. Instead, you can just discard the current timing session. As a second special case, when an athlete drops out of a timing, for example due to a cramp, the watch doesn't automatically know about this and therefore will continue to assign time record to this athlete. To prevent this, we just tap the last regular start or split time of the respective athlete, tap in the middle and select Drop Here. Hero time will then continue with timing only the remaining athletes. As a last special case, what happens if athletes overtake each other? Let's look at a simple example of two swimmers, Mike and Anne, starting together and swimming 400 meters with split times to be taken every 100 meters. Let's assume that Mike swims the 100 in around a minute, while Anne takes a minute and 40 seconds. Then, once Mike reaches the third split at around minute 3, the watch may attribute this split to Anne, which at the time has only one split recorded, while Mike already has two. We want to reassign Mike to the 3 minute time record to correct this, but there is no next time record assigned to Mike yet, that we could use to correct the order. So what do we do? We just wait for the next split time, at minute 320 in this case, which is wrongly attributed to Mike and then move Mike to the 3 minute time record. This implicitly also corrects Anne's assignment to the 320 time record. The next split time at the 4 minute mark is then correctly attributed to Mike again. At this time, however, Mike is done while Anne has two splits still to go. The watch cannot know how many split times in total to expect for athletes. Because of the overtaking in between, Hero time would assign further times to Mike. So, just in the case of athletes overtaking each other, for the first athlete that reaches the finish line, we have to let the watch know how many split times to expect. This we just do by tapping in the middle of Mike's last time record and selecting Finished here. All the remaining split times are then attributed to N, and on top, the watch prevents the recording of split times beyond the final fourth split time. And that concludes the timing overview. Oh, actually, one more thing. When you tap right on a time record, the watch groups split times by athlete and also prevents special operations until you tap left on any time record or record the next split time.